Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly lunar love reading. This is covering what's going down in your love life from 420 until 426. So that's the first quarter moon going into the wax and gibbous phase. And it covers the signs of Leo, Virgo, and Libra. So let's get started right away, Sag. So we're going to find out what the unspoken energy between you and your person is. So I hear shuffle once, cut three times. Okay, Spirit Guides of Sag. Spirit Guides of Sag, this person, or whoever is on the other side of this reading, whatever this love interest is, whoever it is, come through these cards. We're going to find a very accurate answer for what's going on, what the unspoken energy is between Sag and their person during this first quarter moon phase. So we have the seven of pentacles in reverse. So this card upright is about someone. So literally on the card, she's working on a skill set. In traditional writer way, this is someone who's kind of like looking over a situation, analyzing. She's kind of analyzing where she's gone wrong, what she can do, what improvements she can make, how she can work on her skills more. So in reverse, this is almost like someone analyzing a situation that didn't go right, or they keep looking over a situation that didn't in the way they wanted it to. So let's get what their soul is kind of calling out for you, how they're trying to express themselves to you through their soul. What is it that their soul wants to say to you? What does their soul want to say to Sag at this time? Okay. So we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. God, everyone keeps getting that card, especially for this question. Very interesting. Okay, what else does Sag's person's soul kind of want to communicate to Sag? So we have the Nine of Wands upright so the queen of pentacles in reverse is someone who's not really taking care of themselves this is someone who's kind of either extending too much to other people or um, just completely kind of ignoring themselves or neglecting themselves or really not looking out for other people the way they should so this is kind of it's the energy of not providing the proper care and then we have the nine of wands energy which is like very defensive energy I almost feel like this person, the way she's looking down or head down is kind of like ashamed, guilty. This person is kind of looking at this situation. They're looking back at this situation, at this relationship between the two of you. And they're like, I wasn't there for Sag. With the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, it's like they couldn't care for you. I feel like they're very ashamed of that. They feel very defensive about it when they're questioned about it. Maybe when you question about like, yo, I want more time with you what's the deal? Why can't you offer this to me? I feel like they just came up short and they feel very defensive about it and they're very guilty about it or feeling very guilty about it. All right, let's see the bottom of the deck energy, which is the bottom line. So we have the Hierophant in reverse. So this is a five card. Fives are all about change. So I do think the dynamic is going to change between the two of you, but upright, this is kind of like Focusing on the external, status quo, job, school, institutions, things of that nature. In reverse, I feel like someone is, they're trying to come back to themselves. And I feel like this is your person. I feel like the energy is like they're trying to get out of this funk of, oh, things went wrong, shoulda, coulda, woulda. And I feel like they're trying to move into um, some sort of higher vibration that's not just focused on where things went wrong, how things went wrong how they can improve, maybe, I don't know. It's a very kind of sad, low vibration, but I feel like they are trying to come out of that. So let's get more about what their soul wants to let you know, Sag, at this time during this first quarter moon. So we have time apart. I feel like they're thinking a lot about you during this time apart. Take that one, faith. They're thinking about if you guys should be together ultimately in the long run. Time apart and fate is very telling. I almost feel like they're, they're questioning um, your role in their life, your existence, your what kind of a person you're going to be, if you're going to be a future spouse or you were just kind of like a, a fling that it went wrong with one time. I feel like they're really questioning who you are to them. All right, let's find out more about what this person wants to express to you during this first quarter moon moving into the waxing gibbous. Sag's person and their expressions. Expansion. So I do think that with expansion, there's more to be bloomed here, blossom. There's more growing. 
<laughs> it's funny we have complacency and expansion. So I almost feel like um, they're settling for less now with complacency or <laughs> it's this very same energy of looking down, ashamed, sad, like they should be doing better. I feel like they really are interested in expansion, but during this time apart, I feel like they can't do better than you. They know that. It's a very like low vibe, sad energy, honestly. All right, we're gonna find out more about what this person wants to express to you. I just heard shuffle once, cut once, okay. Sag's person, what do they want to express to Sag? We are attracting synchronicities patterns a real story in this reading so thank you for letting us know spirit what's the energy what is the energy coming from sag's person what do they want to let sag know during this first quarter moon moving into the waxing gibbous what's the energy at this time thank you we have pitch enchantment indecision and play so pitch is all about communication, expression. Um, with enchantment, I feel like that's kind of who you were to them. You were this magical being. You were someone that really kind of like challenged them, but also showed them like a really mystical side and like kind of, you were just very like, uh, I don't want to use the word challenging um, all the time in this. You definitely challenge them, but it's more like, you lift it, you help them lift the veil. I feel like you help them see a little bit into the other side. You are very mystical, that type of energy, enchanting energy. So I feel like they, they're like very hooked on you. And I feel like the indecision comes because they are unable to figure out your role in their life, um, whether this connection is faded, whether or not the time apart is what really needs to be happening. But I feel like even when they're apart from you, they're feeling complacent, settling for less, and I feel like you you bring about this playful energy, this fun energy, this energetic um, type of just atmosphere. And I do think that they are feeling some type of way of not being around that currently. It's like they're a little bit bored is kind of what I'm getting. And I feel like they know that it's their fault. Whether or not it is, I don't know, but I feel like that's, yeah. I feel like it kind of is though because all this guilty energy kind of implies that they may have done something wrong. Third eye chakra. Although I'm not even, I don't even really believe in right and wrong anymore. I think everything is meant to be. So, you know, take that as you will. Third eye chakra. So I do think this person's dreaming about you. They're thinking about you when you're thinking about them. It's a very ethereal energy in here. Third eye chakra is all about like the other side. I definitely feel like you are someone that helped them lift the veil. And because of that, they're not abiding so much in the status quo anymore. It's kind of like an awakening energy in here. Um, let's get more from Sag's person and what they want to let Sag know at this time. The energy for this first quarter moon. Thank you. A higher you. Definitely, you are definitely someone that has helped them see magic, a higher view, enchantment, third eye chakra, expansion. This is about seeing the other side. Yeah, lifting the veils. I feel like that's kind of why they can't get over you. That's why they're hooked on you. Yeah. All right, I heard just go, just shuffle. All right. Anything else that Sag needs to know at this time? 420 to 426. The moon. Yo, this is a moon reading too. So I definitely feel like something in this moon phase is going to illuminate a secret or a revelation or a truth that should be revealed or is set to be revealed. So definitely make sure you're meditating, tune in to spirit, pay attention to the moon cycles because I think the moon is going to have a pull on this connection, um, a very magnetic pull. So yeah, the moon is all about your intuition, something coming to light. And I do think that since the moon is all about divine feminine, there is something about this enchanting energy. Clearing, yeah. I think uh, it's almost like the fog is being cleared. The veil is being lifted. Third eye is being opened. It's about awakening. It's like an eye opening is kind of the imagery I'm getting. Let's get a final message from Sag and their person. Yo, we have two that wanted to flip out. So I think it's really interesting. We have assessing and peace. 
So with the assessing card, it reminds me of this Seven of Pentacles energy, someone looking over something, something that didn't work out. But I feel like now they're trying to come out of this guilty, shameful energy and into the energy of balance and harmony and alignment with you. Um, I almost feel like they know that you're very intuitive. They know that you kind of play with magic. And I feel like they're trying to do that on their own. I feel like they're trying to use a little bit of what you got going on and use it for themselves. Like, huh, I wonder if I think about Sagittarius, well, will we kind of be like on a more harmonious level? It's like they're kind of playing your, your game here. All right. What's the number frequency Sag should know between them and their person for this first quarter moon going into the wax and gibbous phase? One and three is four, stability, structure. I do think that there's more stability coming between the two of you. I think you guys are gonna find uh, more common ground, be more on an even keel, because I think this person's waking up and I feel like that's what this energy is about. So yeah, that's what I see happening for you during this first quarter moon, moving into the wax and gibbous phase. I hope this resonated, Sagittarius. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next weekly lunar reading.